Besides being two of the biggest stars in American basketball, LeBron James and Stephen Curry are two successful athletes who have made a lot of money in their careers. But have you ever wondered which of these players has the most luxurious life? In this video, you'll see a heated battle between Stephen Curry and LeBron James. So, let's fight! Watches The two NBA stars always love to look stylish, but which of them has the most valuable watch collection? When it comes to Stephen Curry dressing well, he has been spotted wearing beautiful watches, such as Cartier Santos Blue $10,000 Payne Rye Luminar GMT $15,000 Rolex Sea Dweller Deep Sea $40,000 Vacheron Constantine Overseas $42,000 Rolex Day Date Yellow Gold $50,000 Cartier Skeleton $55,000 Audemars Pichuet Royal Oak Dual Time $60,000 LeBron James, for his part, has high-end watches such as A Rolex Yacht Master II worth $25,000 A Rolex Day Date worth $50,000 A Patek Philippe Nautilus worth $100,000 an Audemars Pichuet Royal Oak Concept Black Panther worth $160,000. A Patek Philippe 6102R worth $300,000. A Richard Mill RM11-03 worth $450,000. A Richard Mill RM11-03 Jean Tote worth $600,000. And even a watch made exclusively for him. We are talking about an Audemars Pichuet Royal Oak Offshore LeBron James that can be found for around $100,000. And for having the most expensive watches, LeBron James wins this round. Point for him! Aircraft Both players like to travel in modern aircraft, but who will own the most luxurious jet? LeBron James, for example, has a Gulfstream G280 jet, a very modern twin-engine executive aircraft. The interior is very luxurious, with two seating areas capable of carrying up to 10 passengers with a lot of comfort. And perhaps one of the reasons the basketball star opts for modern jets is that he has already suffered a huge scare when another aircraft he was using had to make an emergency landing. But luckily everything went well. And to have this jet of his at his disposal, the athlete had to invest a lot of money. According to some sources, James' aircraft is valued at approximately $22 million. Stephen Curry, on the other hand, prefers to rent private jets instead of buying them. So it's LeBron James who wins this round. Most Expensive Mansion When it comes to investing in a good place to live, both athletes don't skimp on their fortunes. But which of them owns the most expensive property? LeBron James, for example, owns a beautiful 2.5-acre property in Beverly Hills, California. The huge residence of the player can offer all the luxury and refinement one can imagine, possessing its facilities and environments such as tennis courts surrounded by green areas, a round swimming pool with a trampoline, besides a cinema room that he seems to like a lot. And to add this property to his real estate portfolio, it was necessary to spend a real fortune. According to media reports, in 2020 he needed to invest about $36.8 million. Stephen Curry also likes to live in beautiful mansions. He once owned a mansion in Atherton, in the region known as the Bay Area. The 7,500-square-foot residence has many accommodations for luxury living, such as three dining areas, one for casual gatherings, another for formal events, and a dining area on the veranda. Outside, the mansion is situated on a 1.2-acre lot, which has great places to enjoy the peaceful climate of the area or to lounge by the pool. According to media reports, the player paid $31 million for the property, which at the time was considered the most expensive sale in the region. And after living there for some time, he sold it for $31.15 million. And besides this house, some sources speculate that he owns a mansion in Malibu valued at $50 million. Assuming that Stephen Curry actually owns this property, he wins this round. Point for him! Cars! Both stars are fascinated by imposing cars, but who has the most valuable garage? Stephen Curry, for example, has been seen with beautiful cars, such as Infiniti Q50 $35,000 Infiniti QX50 $42,000 Mercedes-Benz Sprinter $48,000 
Infinity QX $60,50,000. Infinity QX Inspiration valued at around $75,000. Mercedes Benz G55 of $120,000. One of the most modern cars the star owns is a Range Rover Supercharged LWB, a quiet and technological SUV with a luxurious interior that offers a lot of comfort to the passengers, valued at around $121,000. Another car Stephen Curry owns in his collection is a Porsche Panamera Turbo S, a stylish sports car equipped with a V8 engine that delivers 550 horsepower. In 2018, the player's vehicle was involved in an accident, but he did not seem concerned about the damage, and the price of a Porsche of this model is in the range of $180,000. Stephen Curry has also been spotted with another vehicle from the company, in this case, a Porsche 911 GT3 RS, a sophisticated car, capable of accelerating from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 3 seconds, as well as reaching a top speed of 193 miles per hour. And to give you an idea of its value, this vehicle costs an average of $200,000. LeBron James, on the other hand, has owned the following vehicles. A Chevy Camaro worth $50,000. A Chevy Impala 1975 valued at $55,000. A Dodge Challenger SRT worth $60,000. A Kia K900, also worth $60,000. A Hummer H2 worth $70,000. A Mercedes Maybach S600 worth $185,000. A Porsche 911 Turbo S worth $200,000. A Bentley Continental GT worth $250,000. A Ferrari 458 Spider of worth $270,000. A Ferrari 599 Convertible worth $300,000. A Mercedes-Benz Maybach 57S worth $320,000. A Rolls-Royce Phantom worth $400,000. And the most expensive and famous of all, his custom Lamborghini Aventador Roadster. It is a sports supercar capable of reaching impressive speeds, being among the fastest cars in the world. The vehicle has a 770 horsepower engine that accelerates from 0 to 60 miles per hour in an unbelievable 2.8 seconds, reaching a top speed of 220 miles per hour. And to acquire this super machine, it may be necessary to cash out the smallest price of $500,000. And for owning more expensive vehicles, LeBron James wins this round. Other properties Both basketball celebrities own several properties, but who has the most impressive property portfolio? Stephen Curry's main properties are in the state of California, where he has, for example, owned a house in the city of Menlo Park. Built in 1929, the residence is over 1,200 square feet, it features a traditional contemporary style and sophisticated picturesque decor. The main living room has a clean design that brings a sense of tranquility, while the dining area is ideal for gathering with family and is next to a sliding glass door. The compact kitchen, on the other hand, has several quartz countertops, as well as stainless steel appliances for everyday use, and there is a lovely family room next door, where a laundry room with large tanks is also located. In total, the house has three bedrooms that appear to be quite cozy, and one of them has glass windows with views to the outside, as well as a bathroom that was recently renovated, which has a separate shower stall. Going outside, there are quiet and pleasant surroundings to spend time in, as well as outdoor recreation space, wooden boxes for the vegetable garden, a dining table on the back porch, and a self-contained studio that can be set up as a home office. According to media reports, Stephen Curry bought this property in 2019 for the princely sum of $1.2 million and sold it in 2021 for $1.4 million. Another property that the player has owned is a Mediterranean-style mansion that is located in the town of Walnut Creek in California. The residence is over 7,500 square feet in area, and among the main rooms are the living room with large glass windows that show off views of the nearby canopy of trees. The dining area is off to the side and has an incredible scraped wood floor, while the kitchen is quite spacious and has a large marble island in the center and has undergone some great updates in the years that the player lived there. There is also a family room next to the kitchen, an office with dark wood bookshelves, and media space for entertainment, which includes a billiards room, as well as a wine cellar and a bar for socializing. 
The mansion also has five stunning bedrooms that are well lit by natural light, not to mention four full bathrooms that have also been restored in recent years. A distinctive feature of this property is the presence of multiple access points to the outdoors in several rooms, and the house has great outdoor living areas, especially one with a fireplace. According to some sources, Stephen sold the mansion for only $2.94 million, even though he bought it for $3.2 million. Raising the price further, another impressive mansion that the basketball star has owned in California is located in the Alamo region. The French architectural mansion was built in 2004 and has over 10,200 square feet of interior space. The entrance hall has a beautiful staircase to the upper floor, the living room is ideal for receiving guests as it has a large fireplace, and the formal dining area is surrounded by beautiful French windows. The modern kitchen is very spacious, perfect for the star's wife, who is a professional chef, to prepare her recipes with all sophistication. The mansion also has other social areas to spend time in, a wine cellar for a large quantity of drinks, and a home office. In total there are five suites in the house and ten luxurious bathrooms. In the case of the master suite, you can notice that there is a fireplace, a private social area, and a large bathroom. Moving on to the exterior, the mansion is situated on a plot of over 1.5 acres, which offers majestic gardens with plenty of space for activities. There are great verandas to relax on, as well as a sitting area with a fireplace and beautiful sculptures. The site also has a fountain, a garage for six vehicles, and a cozy cabana with a barbecue setting, as well as a patio with an infinity edge pool, which includes a separate spa and bathhouse. According to some sources, Stephen Curry bought the mansion for about $5.7 million, until he sold it in 2019 for $6.3 million, leaving the state of California. He once owned, for example, an elegant home in the Skycroft neighborhood of Waxhaw in the U.S. state of North Carolina. The 7,600-square-foot mansion has an exquisite European style, and among the main spaces in this place are a living room with large glass windows, a formal dining area, and a gourmet kitchen with high-end appliances, which has a beautiful chandelier over the island in the center. There are also four charming bedrooms and four luxurious bathrooms, and other amenities such as a library, an office with wood paneling, a modern home theater, and a cozy media room next to an entertainment area with bar. Outside, there are terraces for relaxing in front of great views, as well as a huge swimming pool area in the backyard, which has an integrated spa, and a manicured lawn nearby. On top of all this, the property is in an ideal area for a big celebrity to rest away from the media. And according to some sources, Stephen Curry sold this home in 2019 for the princely sum of $1.21 million. It is known that besides the property in North Carolina, the player has others, such as a 4,200-square-foot property in the city of Winter Park in the state of Florida, on which he shelled out $2.1 million, a 4,200-square-feet unit in a high-rise building on Mission Street in San Francisco, which cost about $8 million. Finally, the athlete also owns a 17,800-square-foot mansion in Silicon Valley, in the Atherton area. Contemporary-style residence features many amenities, such as an open layout living room with a glass ceiling, a dining area that exudes elegance, and a kitchen with a centralized chef's island. The venue also has seven stunning suites and nine sophisticated bathrooms, as well as a full bar. Outside, there are living and dining areas, as well as a pool for leisure days. According to some sources, the player bought this property for an incredible $30 million. LeBron James, for his part, owns a 32,000-square-foot mansion in Ohio valued at around $9.5 million. Raising the price further, LeBron James once owned a beautiful lakefront mansion in Miami in the state of Florida. The interior of the mansion has a color palette of light tones on the walls that matches the darker color of the wood. In all, the house has six spacious bedrooms and eight beautiful bathrooms, counting with a few treats, such as a cinema with comfortable armchairs and a bodybuilding gym. Outside, there is a luxurious pool that at night is surrounded by colored LEDs at night, in addition to having a dock to store up to two yachts. And according to media reports, the basketball player has decided to sell the mansion in 2021 for about $12,750,000. Going even more expensive, the NBA star also once owned a half-acre estate in Los Angeles, California. 
Inside, the rooms are very spacious, with a total constructed area of about 9,500 square feet, divided into six bedrooms and eight bathrooms, all with jacuzzis. Outside, the grass is very green, and there is a large Olympic swimming pool with a wooden deck. And according to media reports, the player purchased the house in 2015 paying $21 million, but decided to sell it in 2021 at a loss of $19,600,000. Still in California, LeBron James owns another property located on one of the most noble streets of Los Angeles. The interior of the residence is quite sophisticated, being built with top-of-the-line materials. The kitchen, for example, features natural French oak and marble countertops from Spain. In total the property is about 9,500 square feet, being divided into 8 bedrooms and 11 luxurious marble-covered bathrooms. In addition, the mansion also offers other spoils for the player, such as a game room, a complete gym, and a cinema. And to acquire this beautiful mansion, the player needed to disburse in 2017 about $23 million. And for having more valuable property than his opponent, LeBron James wins this round. Point for him! business. As well as being great athletes, they are also successful businessmen. But which one stands out the most in the business world? Stephen Curry, for example, is a partner in several companies, mainly technology companies, such as the eSports team Team Solo Mid, the e-commerce company Slice, the small smartphone company Palm, the basketball application Home Court, the educational company Guild Education, the renewable technology company Uncharted Power, the hotel reservation platform Snap Travel, the Japanese e-commerce company Rakuten. Another source of Stephen Curry's income is as executive producer of Holy Moly, a mini-golf reality show aired by ABC that premiered in 2019 and has been very successful. But without a doubt, Curry's biggest source of income besides basketball comes through advertising. This is because he is a world-renowned athlete who has an excellent reputation, in addition to having a large fan base, counting tens of millions of followers on his social networks. Among the brands that have invested in his image are Degree, Callaway, JBL, Brita, Infinity, Rexona, and many others. Already his biggest sponsor is Under Armour, a sporting goods company that has invested in the athlete since 2013 and currently has a lifetime contract with the player, which earns him about $20 million per year. LeBron James, for his part, has investments in the gastronomic sector, owning 19 franchises of the Blaze Pizza chain of pizzerias. He is also a partner in Beats Electronics, a headphone and audio equipment company owned by Apple. However, in the world of sports, he has stakes in Liverpool, one of England's biggest football teams. LeBron James is also a partner in Ladder, a sports supplementation company created in partnership with other celebrities like Arnold Schwarzenegger. And he even owns a film production company, having founded Spring Hill Company, a company that produced and released in 2021 his new film called Space Jam, A New Legacy. This is all without counting all the money he receives from being a poster boy for various famous companies. To get an idea of how well-known LeBron James is in the media, he is by far the most famous basketball player on social networks, having for example more than 150 million followers on his Instagram alone. And it is for all this fame that he has been featured in campaigns for brands like Coca-Cola, McDonald's, and Sprite, among many others. But without a doubt his biggest contract is with Nike, a company with which he signed a lifetime contract, guaranteeing him a multi-million dollar salary for the rest of his life. As we don't know how much they make, we'll consider this round a draw. Point for both of them. Net Worth Everyone knows that both NBA stars have made a lot of money during their careers, but which one has the highest net worth? Stephen Curry, for example, has had his salary grow as he has become one of the best basketball players in the world. To get an idea of values, in his first professional contract with the Golden State Warriors, he received something like $3.2 million per year. But because of his excellent performance, he was able to sign a much better contract extension in 2012, earning around $11 million per year. From then on, Curry continued to progress as a player and his market valuation grew higher and higher. 
he became one of the highest paid basketball players in the world, signing a new five-year contract that pays him more than $40 million per year, totaling $201 million by the end of the contract, making him the holder of the most valuable contract of all time for an NBA player. Adding up all sources of income, including advertising, his income grows even more. And it is no wonder that according to Forbes magazine, in 2022 he was considered the fifth highest paid athlete in the world, receiving about $92 million for the year. And although no one knows for sure how much of a fortune he has amassed throughout his career, some sources estimate that Stephen Curry currently has a net worth of $200 million, a figure that tends to grow in the coming years. LeBron James is not far behind. He is the highest paid basketball player in the world for the eighth consecutive year, as well as being named the fifth highest earning athlete of all sports in the year of 2020. As a Los Angeles Lakers player alone, receives a super salary of $41,200,000. And while it's a huge amount, it's still far from being his biggest source of income. That's because it's estimated he probably makes more than $70 million off the court, mainly from his advertising contracts. To get an idea, in just his lifetime contract with Nike alone, he receives approximately $30 million per year. And it's no wonder that according to Forbes magazine, the NBA star currently has a net worth of over $1 billion. In other words, LeBron James easily wins this round. At the end of this fight, we have two points for Stephen Curry against six points for LeBron James, making him the winner of this battle. But if you think there are still other arguments to defend one of the two, write your best justification below. Hey, you like the video? So don't forget about leave your like and comment, and tell some suggestions of another videos, and hopefully we gonna do it. All about channel, deals to satisfy your curiosity.